Hi everyone and welcome to Quarantine Season 2. We're about to kick off Episode 2 with our lovely co-host Matt Kyber Master, who is the founder of Fearless, an inclusive indie film app. Um, and Matt Kai, I'd love to hear just a really quick, before we get into all the videos, just a little bit about you, how you got into film, and what made you want to start this app that features yeah. so much um, diverse talent as well. You know, it's not just like another film app, so hello. Hi, thanks for having me. I know. Uh, yeah, basically, I, I, you know, I went to university for theater. I dropped out after one year. I knew I was dropping out within the first three months. Like, mm. I hated it so much. Um, and then Maybe. I went to film school, so college. Um, if there's, I don't know who in here is American versus whatever, but in Canada, you know, what we call college is what Americans call community college. Mm. So, mm -hmm. um, I did that, I went to film school, and there I connected with a bunch of amazing people that I really connected with. We started making movies and shows, and then when it came time to find a place to put them, uh, mm. I didn't like any of the options. Like, right. I just, I wanted a platform that celebrated indie content, um, you know, that was curated because, you know, some of the platforms they just sort of take everything and yeah. then there's a lot to sift through because like i mean let's be real like not everyone's making things that are amazing right um, not yet so yeah i mean there's always gonna be some people making shitty stuff you know in music in um film and anything right there's always somebody who's just they're just sort of like making it just to make it and it's not a serious career or anything for them right um and, uh, and I mean, you need that because that's how you determine something is amateur versus not amateur. And so anyway, so we were looking for a platform. We didn't find one we liked and inclusivity was important to us. I mean, literally all the projects I've done have been either LGBT focused or that's a strong part of it at least. So when we couldn't find anything that we thought worked, we made it ourselves. Love it. That's amazing. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, that makes sense. But it also just seems like such a daunting thing, you know, to like create this whole thing, especially when there's such like giants in the field already, you know, Netflix and HBO and Disney Plus now and all of these things. So catering yeah. to that. But there's also like some more, you know, niche ones like Shudder or whatever. So I think yeah. it's cool that... Um, you're kind of also taking power away from these monopolies and these giant corporations and creating something for people who want to find more indie stuff. And I love when on Quarantine we have hosts who aren't musicians as well and we can highlight different aspects of queer art and queer creators. So I just want to say thank you yeah, for and being I mean, here. My, my lens on this today is not really from a music standpoint, it's from a video standpoint, from mm. a, a filmography, cinematography, um, you know, those types of elements, are, which are elements that maybe not all your co-hosts have, right? So yeah, but you're I'm going to be looking at things from that angle. Yeah, I think you're also, um, but you're also such a champion for like indie music period so i mean it's not like you've never you listened to it's music before it. yeah it's just because i love it um and i and i love supporting queer artists and stuff as well um um i just that that's the kind of stuff i listen to so yeah. i just i love it exactly exactly welcome in everybody we had a few more people come in i just died oh <laughs> that's a good thing um, I guess. Wait, who <laughs> just died and why? Jay Gregory died of love because Tina gifted a subscription, which is like a little, um, Aww. then you don't have to watch ads on Twitch anymore and you get like emotes and cute things. Um, but hi, Elizabeth. Sweet. Hi, Nyalison. Hi, Sly. Hi, everybody that just came in. What were you going to say, Mackay? Uh, I haven't a clue. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I think I probably said it. <laughs> that's My all good. Horrible. Okay, y'all, we're going to get started with some videos. Oh, and we are also doing a giveaway. Hi, Homobite. Hi, Mom. Everyone's here. The gang's all here. It has me here? Yes, my mom. Your actual mom? My actual real mother. My, oh, hi, Mama Kizos. How are you? Uh, I love it that that's your username, too. Yeah, I so know. Fun. I don't remember. I think it used to be some... Actually, no. I think that's what it started as. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, Meow Allison. I was just going to say, I saw you come in last week, but I saw it like in the replay. I didn't see you come in because I was so into a video or something. But hi, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. What do you mean by squirt? Panzer Krieg? You'll find out if you keep watching. Um, you'll see. <laughs> um, okay, what was I going to say? There was one last thing I was going to say. Oh, we're doing a giveaway today. Um, I have to do it in a slightly different way than 
usual. But if you want to enter to win a giveaway, which is an annual subscription to um, the app that we were talking about, Matt Kai's indie film app called Fearless, if you want to win an annual subscription, all you have to do is in the chat do an exclamation mark and the word fearless, and that's it. Like this, I will show you. Fearless, right there. You won't see anything, but you will automatically be added into a, um, a queue to win, okay? Perfect, that's all you gotta do. So if you want to um, not only support some LGBT music artists today, but also maybe discover some more indie LGBT POC filmmakers as well, you need exclamation fearless and we'll be giving that away um, closer to the end of the uh, broadcast. Okay, y'all, let's get started. Let me see who got in here first. We had quite a few people come in around the same time. Life hacks. Wait, are you Michelle of Madam Psychosis? Because if so, then I would love to do your video first. If you're um, a different person, then I will do a different video first. <laughs> I like to do it in the order that people came in. So, um, yeah. Otherwise, we'll do um, Ash first because I'm super excited for that one. Um, but yes, y'all, you are all added if you did it. I see like 10 people in there already. Perfect. Hi, Zach. Welcome in, everyone. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll, do, we'll do Ash first. Um, all right. Because I know he's here. Sure. So pull that I'm one up, that. and then I will let you know when to start. I'm just going to read a quick little... So it's pronounced Ash, like... Okay, it's yeah, pronounced like Ash. Yeah, Ash Ketchum. I was the saying baddest. it wrong in my brain. Yeah, me too. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Ash Divine. Ash, you are creating some controversy. I'm seeing all of these up, uh, likes and dislikes, so I'm so excited. I've seen a lot of people talking about this one on the internet, but let me first read um, a little bit of the story behind um, BBC. So BBC is not just a venerable British news network, it's also a popular category on websites of the raunchier kind. A Kowali beat, a Shenai sample, and a lot of innuendo dominate this Webby Award-nominated banger. This is the sen second single from Ash Devine's album, The Sex Issue, an expose of modern sexuality. Sounds hot. I did realize I want to say one more thing before we get started. So y'all, Quarantine is a platform for art appreciation, not art critique and criticism. So we just want to shout out all the things that we love about this and, um, you know, not compare one against the other and um, just appreciate all of the work that goes into creating these videos um, because that's what it's all about. And it takes so much effort to make uh, even the most simple music video. So and I know a lot of these videos are not simple at all. So we just want to be positive, appreciate everyone, follow each other. After each um, video, we will be uh, linking people's Instagrams and YouTube and all of that so you can follow the artists um yeah so this is ash divine we're gonna get started in just one second pronouns he him yeah i i also love the fact that like it, what you said about you know some are simple and some are not even close to simple and that's kind of cool too because some songs warrant a simple video and some warrant something more complex and, yeah they're, you know, sometimes are amazing i was gonna say yeah sometimes there's like a cute like sexy just like in your room boom <gasps> And then other times it's like a yeah. huge production. So we're going to see a big range Absolutely. of videos. And um, yeah, we're going to get right. started. Are you ready, Matt Kai? I I'm ready. Are we pressing play at the same time here? Yeah, I'm going to count us down. Okay. All right, let's do it. In three, in two, and one, go. And let me know if all the sound is good, y'all. This is Ash Divine, BBC. Come on. I love that the, the video started before the music too. That was cool. Yes. Like really broadcast it. And I love the vintage feel. I'm so picky, 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 oh, sticky, juicy, news. Oh. The BBC, my juice. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, all the costuming! I love the ties hanging too. Yeah. Is it a little quiet, Mialison? Oh my gosh. Can I tell him? Okay, yeah, let's pause it and start it over. I was thinking it was a little quiet too. There's always a little bit of experimentation that goes in with the first video. 
because I have to like balance it based on the co-host volume as well. So one sec. Oh, was I watching it too loud or too quiet or something? No, no, no. It wasn't you. It was um, oh. people were just saying the video was too quiet. So I'm going to turn everything up, but then turn you down a little bit. Like your, the vo Got your it. voice volume a little bit. Um, okay. And we'll see if it works. Okay. Let's... All right. So we're restarting the video? Yeah. Well, let's just restart it because I don't I'm, want anyone to... I'm cool to... with that because like this is so yeah, good. There's like, a lot I'm to so take in. Into it. Yeah. There is. There is. That intro too is just like... Perfect. Okay, y'all. Right. We're ready to restart. Hopefully this is a little louder. You know what? Let me... That should be okay. You know what? No. Let me just... Let me go on the safe side and really just put it up a little more. Daddy, 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 oh, Prime! Daddy, thank you for the follow! Daddy. Okay, and then let me turn Matt Kai down just a little tiny bit more. Should probably be okay. Okay, here we go. Let me reopen it one more time and make sure... Let me make sure it shows here. Because it also does this, like, if I change the volume while it's playing, it, like, does this freezing thing, it's so annoying. So give me one more second to re-get it on the screen and then we'll be good to go for the rest of the time, y'all. Oops, okay there, perfect. Okay, now we're ready to go! Too quiet the video? When okay, you are. we turned it up. Okay, we're gonna start it over in three, two, one, go. Hopefully this is better, y'all. The other thing is different videos have different volumes, so hopefully this works for everyone and we won't have like an ear blasting one later, but I guess it's better to be too loud than too quiet. Okay, so remember this is Ash Divine BBC. And hi everyone that came in, hi MCAP. He's playing X's and O's, I didn't even notice that the first time. Oh, that's cute. Now what's the symbolism? That pan over shot is really beautiful. Yeah, that, how it like totally transforms. And Ash said, an all trans and people of color cast and only female run production took a hot minute to find the team, but worth it. Worth it, Ash. Hell yeah, I love that. And like we were saying earlier, like all of the, the, the costuming here, the ties hanging up, gorgeous. Oh, are we going into a different era here? Oh, <laughs> the dick drawing. Four eras of news. Okay, cool. This is so cool. And Ash, you're in NYC. I literally didn't know, realize that. And then I saw your Instagram post today. <gasps> Just moved. Oh my god. I love those background vocals. Oh my god. No! Ash! <laughs> Oh, this is like pure Ellen show vibes. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely the intention there. Oh my god. Is it really a gospel choir, Ash? Oh my god. Those captions at the bottom, too. Did you make this in New York, Ash, or somewhere else? This is one of those songs you have to like re-listen to to get like every aspect. I feel like there's so much wordplay I'm missing. Hmm, filmed in Brooklyn, okay. I'm loving the guy in the upper right corner when they do that fourth string. Upper yes. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, this is classic. 
I don't even have a word. <laughs> it's indescribable. Sea monster. <laughs> sea legend. Also, I just realized I love that Godzilla is spanning time, just like, you know, in the movies. What? Oh my god, Ash! Yes. That was yes. amazing, uh, y'all. I'm gonna. And I love that there's credits at the end. Not a, like <laughs> there's a lot of um, music videos that don't have that, and I just I love it when they credit all the people in the video. Yes, and if, especially when there's so many people too. Like my goodness. Yeah. Um, y'all, let me link that video and Ash's Instagram in the chat for everyone. Um, oops. Ah! So that y'all can follow Ash yeah, uh, and comment. Um, Elizabeth is saying super catchy. I have to agree. It's like. <laughs> I'm, I, that's gonna be stuck in my head. BBC. And so I, I'm in Canada, I'm in Toronto, and this like BBC thing mirrors so similarly what we call CBC Oops, here. I accidentally just shared um, the Instagram again. And it's, it's really neat because it's so realistic. It's so well done. It's 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 so accurate. Sorry, I was struggling on that link, but yeah, no, it's totally true. Like, I just love. I love the mess of it all. I love that it's messy. I love, yeah. I, I, like I was saying earlier, like I want to re-listen and like get all of the wordplay and stuff in there because if you're just listening casually, you're not going to pick up on any of that. And a lot of times when yeah, I'm watching it for so the first time, yeah, you're also like trying to take it all yeah. in visually. So um, I accidentally linked to Instagram twice. So I just put the YouTube in. So everyone follow, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to leave a like and subscribe comment you're right now. <gasps> Who just subbed? If only you could double <laughs> Prime, thank you so much for the subscription. I'm gonna put a little star on the screen. Yeah, like a triple you like, like a eight thousand like. Kisses, oh my you god! Wait, so Ash, oh my what? dog. Oh, thank you, Ash. What have been the um? Wait, was that Prime? I thought it said Prime, but maybe not. I can't. I can't remember. I don't know what I'm looking at. It always changes. Oh, it was Nyar. I don't know why. I guess I saw Prime follow. I don't know. My stuff's always messy. Um, let me put a little star on the screen for you, Nyar. It's right over here. It's right there. Um. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, writing my comment. Wait, so Ash, what were the negative comments that people were getting? Like, what was what were what was everyone's issue with this? Just that. Um. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you'll um, jump in and hear, uh, and see it. But I mean, to mirror the things from Canada, I think that you know people consider like the BBC and the CBC to be somewhat important. So making fun of them is mm. maybe not the most. Uh, because they're also like thing. liberal but but i think that's that's fantastic like i think like everything should be able to be made fun of somehow yeah for I sure I there's a way agree. to do it without hurting people and i don't think this hurts anybody yeah i, mean, I could be wrong but i'd love to know more <laughs> about what ash is saying people hate but. yeah and i'm gonna read some comments as well that people just left they during the um obscene? obscene ash is saying that they say it's obscene it, nothing trans about people on screen huh Okay. You know, it's just the society we live in, I guess. Um, but let me read some positive things that people said in the chat um, while it was playing. So, oh, Godzilla metaphor for what's happening in the White House. That makes sense. And how it kind of is, uh, you know, an eternal thing mm. happens every cycle. Um, Prime said, this is everything. DJ Mousen said, this is so fun, though. Once said, this video is just everything. BBC digs deep for stories. Ash said, Peter, Canzilla. Oh, I didn't see that part. I'm um, getting my news from this BBC from now on. Jackson said, I'm starting my every day with this video from now on. This is so my type of humor. Yeah, that was really complex, really cute, really amazing. The ASMR. I got you, Peter. Um, yes, no, there's definitely a lot more love. I mean, the people who are hating on it are just going to leave like a dislike or whatever, but um, you know, eh, we appreciate everything that you put into that. That was amazing. Um, let's, let's I mean, let's, let's also like take it with a grain of salt because people on YouTube are really mean. Yeah. Like the people who really loved it may not have commented. Yeah. Um, that's also true. That's just the way it works. You're just like, so. oh, my friend released a video. Let me watch it. Wow, I loved it. And sometimes they don't. It just happens. Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. But like 168 versus 101, like, I'm just going to literally like and subscribe to every video that we watch. Today. Yeah, I like, comment, subscribe. That's, that's what I tell everyone <laughs> to do. That's what I tell everyone Love to it. do. It's, it's happening. 
It should, it should. Okay, let me see who came in after Ash. Let's do, I think it might've been Florian. Let's do a Florian Rose next. Pronouns he, him. This is his video for the song Pomegranate Boy. And if y'all haven't been here before, I don't watch any of these videos ahead of time, unless there's a video that I somehow like I don't know. There was a, a video that I like saw when quarantine was on break, so I had already seen it. But I like to keep it a surprise, so I just get like little snippets, and I just want to say the color of this Florian okay, video. Okay, so I'm not sure which one we're at here. Florian Rose. Um, the, Florian he, Rose. Yeah, he's in Got the it. second row. Unless I, I don't know if my movements nope. reflect on your screen. So, um, but with the red locker I'm behind there. him. I'm there. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Perf. Let's do it. I'm opening it. Oh, no, you do not need to be nervous. You don't need to be nervous. Let me open the video, and then I'm going to read a and little... Yeah, just to echo what, what Kizo said, too. I haven't seen any of these either. Yeah, I do that on purpose. Sense. I don't even let the co-host have a chance. Yeah. Um, no, I don't you let really the... didn't, because you only sent it to me shortly before we went live. So yeah, You really no. did it on purpose, <laughs> yeah. Which I love. I wouldn't have, Even if you sent it to me last week, I still wouldn't have watched them. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I was actually thinking today, I was like, when I sent it to you, I was like, maybe I should start sending it to people early. No. But I don't, I don't want to. So. <laughs> no. Okay, y'all. I got my water. Um, let me read what Florian said. Again, Florian's pronouns are he and him. Um, and Florian said, I made the video for Pomegranate Boy on my own, mixing original footage shot during quarantine with vintage videos I found on the internet. Love that. I had to work within those limitations to create a companion piece to my debut song. To me, the video represents the different aspects of love and relationships. It's a story about falling in and out of love and starting that process over and over again until you finally get to someone who feels like home or not oh my god spicy florian i'm so excited okay y'all this is the video for pomegranate boy by florian rose and we will start it in three two one go like it's so pretty like the colors are so vibrant just wait y'all just wait this is my favorite repeat but never seen it <laughs> that happens now yeah, listen Boom. so cute <laughs> What's a schmar daddy now? <laughs> like, I love these reds. I love this voice. Yeah, they're like... It's very, oh my god, and the glitchy in there? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So interesting. I love the like contrast too between like the super vibrant outside and the more like muted inside. Yeah, the editing on this is really cool. Did you film it all yourself, Florian, or did you have like friends or any help from anyone? Or were you like setting up that like fence shot all by yourself? to it, it makes sense know, and, and they're beautiful thoughts they're beautiful thoughts in that cut <laughs> that glitching is so interesting i love it too i think that's kind of the how florian was saying like finding the person or not moment you know yeah. it's that little like contrast in there and there's lots of room for interpretation in here mm. come on flags I can see that, Jackson. It's kind of a little bit sexy too, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, of course. There's definitely a little like, call me by your name with the fruit and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Timothy Chalamet look-alike moments here. Yeah, I'm Yellison. Ooh, I like the paint. This is so cool. 
Yes. Yeah, oh, I love that like quick cut there with all those scenes. I'm on the beat too, it's nice. Who's Peter, Florian? Is Peter the person you're singing to? It says Peter on your jacket. And thank you, Ash. I saw your message. Yeah, that is so. the young face and bright smile, which could be the hope of the world. But in the other half of the picture, is revealed the seduction of the innocent. I love that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The one thing I love the most about this music video is that at the start of the music video and at the end of the music video, Florian makes you wait. Like makes you wait. The beginning was so lovely because it's like we're looking at a sky and we're like, I want to see this. Mm. It like builds anticipation. Mm. At the end too, it's like we gotta wait for that final moment. Mm. It's it's cool. I love it. That's a good point. Yes. Oh my god. I love like the little glitchy aspects. I'm writing this as my comment too, like the glitchy aspects in the middle of such like smooth, colorful scenes is so unique and I love it. I'm commenting that right now. <laughs> Amazing. Let me share. I'm going to be liking, subscribing, and commenting after we're done the live stream. Yes, you have the list of everyone. my Google account has kicked me oh, out. Oh, thank you, moment. Charlie. Yes, um, Charlie just linked um, the music video for Florian and Instagram as well. So follow him. And let me read some things that people said while it was playing. They said, cute vintage. Oh, my God, I'm in love. Love the effects. I'm loving the kicks and jacket and the 80s vibe and the orchestration, mm. said Peter. Um, Florian, I did every... Florian said he did everything alone. Oh, my God, that's awesome oh my god do you have any like film training because some of those shots were like i love the fence shot like that is yeah. so iconic just like looking down so neighborhood yeah. like boy next door so cute um for me my favorite moment was the moment where it was uh florian on screen and then the superimposed mm -hmm. images of the multiple things that to me was just stunning yeah that was cute and like the little like light face paint stuff just Whew. Yeah. Elizabeth said, Florian, you're mega talented. I'm impressed. Um, Mialison's a sucker for a classic car. Um, Elizabeth adores it. Jackson is very, I mean, Jay Gregory is very impressed. It's really cool. I love it. Yeah, that was so great. Um, for sure, call me by your name, energy. Very dreamy. A Florian fan. Yeah, y'all, please do follow, like, and subscribe to everyone here. We're expanding our community every day um and i want to shout out again our co-host today is mac hyper master um as he was mentioning earlier he um is a filmmaker and indie music champion so he's also the founder of an indie film app called fearless and we're doing a giveaway um, for an annual subscription to the fearless app so you can follow their instagram right there and follow matt kai there and then to enter the giveaway you just have to type this nothing else no more no less exclamation fearless you'll be entered into the giveaway to win um the annual subscription there are some yeah. slight uh, restrictions on like countries you can be in, but I think pretty much everyone here is in those countries. So we'll we'll talk about it. Um, yeah. You know the countries it's off the top of your head, Mackay. The Mac app's I? not available, and the app's only available in seven countries. Mm. Um, but it's U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. So if it you're covers not in a one lot. Of those countries, unfortunately, you can't win. But um, yeah. That's just, okay. And the only reason we don't want we can't let you in is just because the app doesn't exist there. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I know it's kind of crazy that um, I didn't realize like even that like Netflix UK is so different from Netflix US and like how different things are between like regions and things like that. Yeah. Oh, my dad's here too. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Oh my god, <laughs> Daddy Kizos. No, I can't handle. They're it. all like, here. Literally, mommy Kizos and daddy Kizos. I'm so excited about it. My dad that. did that on purpose. Once he saw my mom's name, he was like, "I'm gonna do it too." <laughs> Second Mama Kizos, yes, Love best that. comment ever. Okay, y'all, let's um, do the next one. Let's do the next one. Okay. We're going to do, I think, Ian next. I saw Ian here earlier. I don't want to make him wait too long. Ian is our um, cover artist for this week's playlist. He just came out with All a right. new song called Mirror, Mirror. And by cover, I mean like playlist cover. This is an original song. Let me clarify. 
Let me yeah. clarify. These are all originals, right? Um, I think so. I'm actually going to show okay. a video that I did with a friend that's a cover. Um, it's just like a live performance, but um, I think all everyone right. else is original, yeah. Okay, okay, so, sorry, who are we on? Ian Abel. And right. I'm going to read the story behind the song. So, Ian said, about the song Mirror Mirror, it's a confessional, pining track that came from an experience that Ian had years after his first big breakup while sifting through old emails. I was reading this and I was like, this is kind of relatable, Ian. Um, and Ian said, I was honestly still hung up on it, even years later, um, and thought my ex and I were meant for each other. But reading old emails, it suddenly dawned on me that we weren't perfect at all. I realized that the version of us I had in my head wasn't really how it was, and it was like a huge weight was lifted. Amen! Amen! And hello, Madam Psychosis. Welcome in. Um, complete amen. Completely relate to that. Unfortunately, unfortunately, although it does come with that, um, the resolution. The resolution eventually comes. You second Mama Kisos again, Dad. Still turn up the volume more? Oh, okay, I can turn it up a little more. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me just do this. I'm going to turn off the sounds for, like, follows and subscriptions. Because otherwise those will, like, blast your ears. Um, but we'll do that. Eh. Eh. Okay, perfect. Now let me just make sure it's not frozen. Um. Okay, it's not frozen. Perfect. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, in three, two, one. This is Mirror Mirror by Ian Abel. That's true, Corey. You can't join? Toby, do exclamation fearless. Oh, you're in a different country. Ian's in New York, New York City as well. Oh, brilliant. So, right? It's just... I... Literally what I said I loved about the previous music videos and this music video. Yeah, this video. I think this might be like projected onto him though, so it's kind of a flip in a way. The, the thing that always like impresses me so much about like visuals like this is just sourcing all of these clips that you use must take forever. Oh my God, see that shot is gorgeous. Yeah. Like, hello? That's stunning. And yeah, Ian, your voice is chill inducing. So airy, but still like with weight behind it. Yeah, how long did it take you to get all of these like snapshots together, Ian? Like just finding them in the first place. I convinced myself it was only human. To stay broken hearted But the Edith I remember Was never really there Also this video is also really clear Just like Yeah Oh I love that Ariana Grande Ooh. I'm thinking right now, can you imagine seeing this outdoors at like a festival, like on a big screen? Like, this is stunning. Yeah, that'd be amazing. So close. I mean, believe me, I want it close too, but I also want it open, you know? Yeah, it took hours and hours and hours of searching, downloading, and sorting. I can only imagine, Ian. Double moment. Hmm. 
Oh. And he like sucks back into himself. Oh. 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 That double moment is is just because it's so quick, it's so simple, but it's just so like, and it reflects the mirror mirror idea, and it's just yeah. I, I love it. I love that's it. that's an example of although I mean it's hard to say like. You know, like we were saying earlier, like even so much work goes into quote unquote, like simple videos, like it's a video with him and a background, but sourcing all of that is so much work. But also yeah. it works really well with the quote unquote, again, simple, just dramatic, emotional, direct to camera and the vibrant mm -hmm. backgrounds. Like it's so gorgeous. Yeah. And Charlie St. Monica just linked the music video um, and Ian's Instagram. So everyone go subscribe, like, comment, and um, follow Ian as well. And I also want to do a quick shout out for our Quarantine playlist right there. If you haven't followed it yet, please do. I update it every week with all of the artists that are featured that week and uh, they stay on for a month. So <laughs> let me leave a beautiful comment. <laughs> <clears throat> Amazing. Yeah, um, that's definitely an example of one that is uh, very simple in terms of how you watch it, but clearly very complex in how it's created. Yeah. Um, and I, I love that. It's kind of both. The best of both worlds. Yeah. But yeah, it's gorgy. It's gorgy. And I love how, yeah. like, a quarantine has changed how artists make videos in a lot of way and i guess yeah. just change the way that artists think about making videos and and doing certain things mm -hmm. anyway yeah i love it madam psychosis I, you're I up next that. and also um ian's uh like profile picture on youtube i just freaking love it <laughs> which it's one so is good. that oh yeah i like that one too it's so good i like his new one it has so much personality yeah it's spicy right, who's up next um wait i actually just realized madam psychosis yeah. is up next but i actually just realized i didn't read anyone's comments so let me read the comments yeah, let's um do that. before we continue on jackson said here for a projection moment um zach said come on aesthetic tina said another lovely voice mialison said shoot i need to start oh <laughs> that was not about the video but she needs to go make dinner um <laughs> or lunch mialison that sounds lovely can i have some please yes just please some through the please screen. ship Thank some you. over um florian said i'll always love some good double exposure jackson said love the tone of your voice toby said this song is also dreamy makes me want to listen to joji oh i can see that like not really similar but kind of some, like similar veins but different deliveries of similar veins mm -hmm. actually that's really interesting um nyar said if it was any more art house it would be the opening to a bond film <laughs> Elizabeth said such a festival tune. Yeah, that's oh my god. I can just yeah. I want to listen to this song on the beach. Like to me it's just so relaxing and like just like I'm just, swaying. It's I love it. I'm swaying. Hi Jolie, how it's are so you? Good. Oh, thank you Jolie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jolie, I'm ready for your videos. You just tell me when. You tell me when your videos are ready. Okay, y'all. Let's do um, Madam Psychosis next. So they're a group that we had on one time last season. Um, and they have another video they sent in this week. And I'm going to... Oop, one second. One second. Click so the wrong it's thing. a five-person group? Yes, I think so. And it's led by Michelle Mondesir. They're Canadian as well. Are they from Toronto? Are y'all from Toronto? Y'all are here. I forgot. Hey, hey, hey. Are y'all Toronto as well? I know Corey. Corey actually introduced me to Michelle. And yeah, they are from Toronto. Corey introduced me to Michelle and Madam Psychosis um, initially. Um, and yeah, they worked tirelessly to shoot and edit hours and hours of footage and turn into this little gem. And it's the follow-up to the song that we showed last time. It's a little bit of a... Of a I wouldn't say throwback, but we're all waiting for some new Madam Psychosis music, but this will hold us over for now. This will hold us over for a little bit, for a little bit. Um, all right, so I, I'm on the different perspective because I this is my first time hearing of them. Yes. And uh, I haven't seen, you know, the previous week's video, so I'm, yes. I'm excited it's a to little just dive like, in without um, any knowledge. It, okay, yeah, then I won't spoil anything for you. It's, no, it's, I just want to dive in. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like a fun live performance style video. Okay. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm into it. Ready, y'all? New music coming. We're ready. We're. And was this one filmed during quarantine? Uh, no, this one I think no. was around last year, like June last year, actually. 
Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, hi, Havas. How are you? How are you? Toronto. Yes, amazing. Yeah, oh my God. Canada's taken over. I love it. Kick me out of yeah, my job, right? Corey. Um, okay, yeah. in three. I'm Toronto too, by the way. Yeah, I know. Everyone's know taking that. over. Everyone's <laughs> kicking. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's just a sign I should move. Maybe I will. Um, <laughs> well, come visit. Come visit. Yeah, I'll visit first. Um, I'm not ready to learn French. I'll have to not go to Quebec, but Toronto's safe, right? <laughs> or do you have yeah, to? Yeah, Toronto's pretty much English. Do I have to? I don't know. It's not important. I was like, do you have to still learn French to move anywhere in Canada to be immigrated? No. I don't know. No, no, no. We'll see. Not really. <laughs> um, even like, even if you go to Montreal, like I know people who live in Montreal who don't really speak French. Like you yeah, have to but... know a few things maybe, but overall you're, you're kind of okay. I feel like though, like you have to take like a language test to like, if you're literally going to like immigrate there. So I'm like, oh, yes. do I got a study yeah. for Toronto too? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to distract from the music. So let's watch Madam Psychosis. This is crashing down in three, two, one, go. Oh. Ottawa or Quebec. Oh, okay. It's true, Tina. Just you pick me up and we'll go together. We'll, I'm on the way. But I love Michelle's voice really nice I love that clip for quick flip ah so if you haven't heard them before now you know why we're like aching for new Madam Psychosis stunning voice people have been killing the falsetto like airy or atmospheric vocals today and honestly that's one of my favorite styles yeah, it's gorgeous. It feels so intimate and personal. I feel like they're letting us into the living room. You know? Yes. But she can also punch it out. Yeah. Yes, plot twist on the vocal sash. This is so cute. The slide. I feel like we're spending a year with them where they're performing. Yeah. It's like their uh, album creation, live shows, gigging, yeah. hanging out with each other. singer's face that was like of course the fade though too yes that's michelle yes elizabeth it has like a little bit of grungy a little bit of like pop punk Madam Psychosis. I'm about to go to so many shows when I can again. Oh my god. This song sounds like it could be the beginning of an entire
<laughs> yeah, that's a tech record. Come on, hit that bell! Oh my god. I mean, I guess it's not a solo, everyone else is playing too, but those riffs. <laughs> Ooh. Spicy. Abby Marie, yeah. thank you for the follow. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Whew, this was the video last time. Just wanna be myself. You know what I love about this is that this is, um, you know, what you might call a typical like band performing kind of a music video but they've just added so many other things to it that it became like a full story. Like, yeah. I feel like I know these people so well after just watching one music video. Yeah, like it's you're amazing. saying, it feels like like a movie montage, but like a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like the slide, the record store, everyone just hanging out. Like mm -hmm. you do feel like you're going, even though like ever, it was pretty like happy the whole time, but you can you can kind of like imagine yeah. the, the valleys in between those peaks and those times. It's cool to feel yeah. like, see the ordinary life and like you said just really connect with everyone i love that yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write that as my comment and a massively talented lead singer yeah massively and the no, just well, i'm woo. impressed woo. getting to just feel so much contrast in that song too like to go from um yeah just a massive contrast i'm just into it and y'all as a group have Perfect Mama chemistry. Says, polished band. Polished band. Agree. Such a polished band. Agree. Polished is a great word. Yeah. It feels very polished. Profesh. Profesh AF. Yeah. Let's see what some people said. Yeah. Oh, and Charlie um, linked the YouTube video and Instagram in the in the comments right there. So please mm -hmm. click on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and please follow them on Instagram. Let's see what some people said about the video. Um, major plot twist about the vocals. I could listen to you forever, said Elizabeth. Yeah. Tina said she's loving all the vocals today. Ash said a little FKA Twigs energy on vocals. Oh, until the plot twist, yeah. Um, uh, Nyar said, I can't help but crush on the instrument. It reminds me of the stuff I grew up with. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. At first crush, I thought you meant like literally crush, but now I get what you mean. Um, and um, a lot of people were saying, I'd love to see them live. I completely agree. Um, love the sound. My dad said her voice is amazing. And uh, this is lush, said Elizabeth. Love it. Even some slow dive. I don't know what slow dive is. Not sure. I don't know what slow oh, dive is either. Oh, it's another band. They know each other. Oh, oh, oh. How cute. I was like, I don't, I don't know most things. I'm pretty bad at pop culture, honestly. I mean, like, obviously, yeah, I know real too. names. I don't, like, live under a rock, but... At the same time, there's a lot of people. I, I live under a rock. <laughs> You're like, I'm busy. I'm doing I'm, my yeah, thing. I'm, I'm there. It's fine. <laughs> I like living under a rock. It's all good. I mean, yeah, it's like, mm, like Taylor Swift, for example. Like, I started listening to the album and I just didn't finish it. And usually, I don't even listen to like big people's albums because I'm just like. Yeah, yeah. There's very few big people, big artists that I listen to the whole thing always. Yeah, um, I like to try. <laughs> Mika is my jam. Anytime Mika comes out with anything, I listen to all of it on repeat. Yeah, I have a few artists like that where they're like big, but not like the biggest, biggest people where I'm like, okay, yeah. wait, I will take the time. Like I did actually listen through Brandy. Well, Brandy's pretty huge. I did listen through her album. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't amazing, but that's fine. I was pretty happy. Hi, Rooks. Yeah. How are you? Crazy Fest is going to be the hot shit. Oh my God. One of y'all is going to have to organize it. Uh, I'll help with some things, but organizing a festival sounds stressful, but also sounds like so amazing. Like I would love to do it, but sounds hard. Y'all, I also just did a shout out for Matt Kai. Please do follow him on Instagram and follow Fearless, which is the inclusive indie film app that he has founded. When did you found it? How long has this been around? It's been three and a half years now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what what do you feel like has changed like when you first started versus now? Like what are you looking forward to um, in the future? Well, when we first started, we didn't have very much content. That's that's the biggest mm. part. I mean, when we first started, it was basically my stuff and then anybody that I could find that I knew that may have something. Mm. And then, you know, over time it became, you know, now where filmmakers just sort of reach out to us. Right. Um, Isn't and that then we amazing? Work with distributors and aggregators and everything else. Yeah, it is amazing. Um, I like that 
we can help stories get told that otherwise wouldn't get told or that otherwise would be put on YouTube where if anyone knows how YouTube works, you need a certain number of subscribers and a certain number of watch time in order to generate revenue. And even then the revenue is not, you know, giant. Right. It's so, poopy. you know, we pay the filmmakers because, you know, it's a subscription service. So you have to subscribe every month to watch the content. So we use some of that money to pay the filmmakers. Right. That's awesome. That's yeah. so cool. And y'all, if you want to win an annual subscription to a fearless, all you have to do in the chat is exclamation fearless. Um, there are some restrictions on countries, but I think you said it was United States. Let me try my best. United States, UK, Scotland, Canada, Australia, <laughs> South Africa. I'm missing one. I don't think you said Canada, did you? I did say Canada. Wait, let me start again. Okay, you, you U.S., threw me Canada, off you UK. Scotland, it's Ireland, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, wait, Scotland is part of it. Okay, yeah, UK, exactly. Ireland, Canada, U.S., Australia, South Africa, New Zealand. Yes. <gasps> Boom. Anyway, so all you have Boom. to do if you want to get entered into that to win a free annual subscription to Fearless is exclamation Fearless in the chat. It won't say anything, but just know if you have typed in exclamation Fearless, you will be entered into the giveaway and we'll do it at the end of the um, stream. Also, if you are here and you have not submitted a video to um, Quarantine before or if you... Um, have submitted or you have a friend that you want to tell to submit that's the link to our uh submission form and the password this week again is fearless so if you write the word fearless in your submission you're basically guaranteed to be on next week oh one more important thing <laughs> there's a lot of important announcements i didn't make quarantine is on a break next weekend because i'm going out of town with my boyfriend and his mom and brother and we're gonna go sit in a house in another state <laughs> Um, for vacation. That, that's such a good description. We're gonna go sit in a house. That's what I'm. We're gonna are. go sit in a house in another state, and there's a nice little deck, and we're gonna barbecue. Okay, we're gonna barbecue okay, yeah. in Pennsylvania. Um, so we're taking a break um, next week. So, but do still have people submit because on the 30th we'll be back and raring to go. Everybody traveling. Don't worry, right. we're gonna. We're, we have a car. Oh, we, they have cars. We don't even have to rent one. Oh my god nice. it's really like first world over here <laughs> i know right i don't have a car <laughs> me neither <laughs> people in big cities usually it's don't. family members yeah like nice. my boyfriend's family is from brooklyn but they live like yeah. more in like you know farther into like brooklyn brooklyn yeah. where people have yeah. cars sometimes um anyway y'all did i read any of people's i did read what people said i feel like there was a lot of chat let me just catch up on a little bit of chat and see what people said um i'm so not into mainstream there's things there's things sometimes but i really am one of those people where yeah. it's like sometimes an artist that i like will get really big and i won't mean to stop listening to them but i do or maybe it's just because then the labels like start to kind of nudge them to do more certain things like years and years when they first came out i was obsessed and i loved them during communion and i still really like them during palo santo but i didn't stand it quite as much and uh yeah that that does happen to me <laughs> yeah yeah no um <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with that to some degree. There's there's certain artists that I just sort of like so much that I just I just never stop listening to them. I just yeah, can't. yeah. Um, but for me, it's not as much about artists. It's more about specific songs. Like I just That's get certain true. songs that I just can never stop, you know, playing on repeat. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, I definitely have that too. Like. I'm, I'm I get very obsessive with stuff. I'm like, oh, I love that song. I'm just gonna listen to it like 30 times in a row. Like it's the only song I listen to all yeah. day. <laughs> so yeah, like "Happily Ever After" by Kizos. Oh. Like that one. If anyone's ever heard of it. <laughs> That's not a video that we'll be showing today. But if you haven't it's seen it, so it exists. It's it, it's such a good song. It really is. I think it's here. And then like Tafari. If you had Tafari oh, on the know. show, we have maybe twice, yeah. maybe once. I can't I remember. I love his stuff. Um, Caleb Rudy. His new song, Teen Movie, and it's so catchy. I haven't heard of him, but... Actually, you wait, haven't? no, maybe you sent him to me. I'll have to check. I think there was someone you sent to me. Aw, Ash, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I do have sound turned off on um, the alerts just because they're going to be really loud, but... Um, what was the password? The password this week is Fearless. So same as the giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, exclamation Fearless. If you're submitting videos, it's just the word Fearless, and it will be on August 30th, not the 23rd. Um, it's your birthday next Sunday. Wait, it was someone else's. It was Billy Mick's birthday. We've had so, like, Leo season is popping off. So many people. 
Um, let me just see a couple more chats before we do the next video. Toby said, lately I've been listening to only underground because sometimes the bigger artists are overproduced. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's nice to just do your own thing. Um, Elizabeth said, I used to work during artist liaison at festival. It was the hardest job ever. That sounds stressful. Liaising with artists, like especially the big ones. And Rook said, if a festival is the topic, then clearly a keyword review collab is on the cards. That's very true. I know Kenny would be down. Um, we were definitely talking in person in the future, but I mean, maybe for the end of the year, we could do a special quarantine festival. Sounds stressful, but um, as long as people Once help me. Once upon a time, <laughs> I worked uh, backstage at the Much Music Video Awards. Oh. And um, yeah, that was fun. I met all the stars and... Um, Did you have any yeah, like good it's, interactions? It's, 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 I, I had some very good ones and some very, very horrible ones. Oh, um, any you can I share? Think, any one highlight you can share? I mean, Hadley was like, I don't not know how that great. is. Like, they, so Jacob Hogard was on American Idol, but Canadian Idol, basically. Uh -huh. And then they blew up and he took his band with him and they were called Hadley. And then there became like this whole um, issue about like, he was like, taking girls that were underage and they were becoming groupies and he was doing inappropriate things with them. And so basically they fell from grace because of that. Um, but they were really big at one point. Oh, I'm glad and, they fell uh, from grace. <laughs> yeah. They, they're, you know, I, they weren't very nice, you know, whereas like Ed Sheeran, who was also there was the sweetest person ever. That's cute. Um, so nice. He gets yeah. a lot of shit and I'll, I'll admit like I make fun of him a lot too, but he does seem like a nice Good person he who really makes nice. he makes good he's catchy sweet. music. Like sometimes yeah. it's not the most complex, but I mean he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He rich now. Uh, <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's continue with some videos. Um, oh my god. All right. Oh wait, that sounds so good. Oh, he's making a full roast dinner and an apple pie for his family tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Happy Sunday to you all. You're all making me really hungry. <laughs> I know. I'm like I have a jug of water and i will be partaking in it for a while now i have a lovely plate of nothingness <laughs> yeah i'm not enjoying <laughs> okay we're gonna do um we're gonna do holiday how next because she's on australia time so i know she won't be able to make it so let's do her oh uh oh i didn't <gasps> I put the no video on music there. video url yeah though. i'll send it i just realized that i was like oh i don't see anything in there I will send it to you. That might have been my fault because I thought she said she sent it in, but maybe she didn't. But this is going to be a good one. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. I'm just going to send it in the, I'll chat it to you in the Discord. Yeah. The app, and then you can pull it from there. Sounds um, good. This is, this came out in June this year, so it is a quarantine video, but it's super cute. It's super still aesthetic. Okay, y'all, we're going to watch it. Where is this British accent coming from? Um, I don't know. That's okay. Sometimes it happens. Oh, 9 p.m. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you're done, Oe. That's true. I didn't think of that. Um, okay, y'all, this is All Night by Holiday Howe in three, two, what? Get. Oh, I just realized the YouTube volume is down on some of these. Maybe I accidentally didn't turn it up. That's okay. <laughs> yes, Rooks. I, I love when the lyric video is mixed in with the quote official video. Oh, I love the like different angle. Like. Holiday's also a producer and like does all her own music and stuff. Back to all the first times and first touch I want to feel love, feel in love. Touch me, touch me on this armor and this skin. I love these layered vocals. Against the world and it's me and you. These harmonies are popping. And it's three in the morning, and it's you and me all night. 
Oh. I love, I'm obsessed with glitchy shit. Like visually and beat wise. I hope she had two cameras set up. <laughs> Otherwise, imagine just like trying to get the two shots in different areas. KUT. Oh my gosh. Oh shit, wait, Maka, I couldn't hear you at all. Did you get muted? I think you muted yourself. I was like, Maka is so quiet. I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I saw your word. I saw you mouth the words. <laughs> oh no. Uh, maybe something. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fixed it? Yeah. Okay, good. That was weird. What happened? Anyway, I was just saying lovely things about this beautiful. <laughs> that we all missed. I was like, That's oh okay. my gosh. I was like, oh no. Here, let's let's watch like the last 30 seconds so we can we can just pretend you were saying it while it was going live. <laughs> So we can get a nice clip for social media. Here, let me uh, let me play it How again. How would I even know where the last thirty seconds is? You'd have to tell me. Um, exact we time can to go that. to yeah. I guess we can just let's just start at like two minutes. That makes sense, right? Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what <are> we? Wow. <laughs> I love the glitchiness anyway, of it. I love this song. Yeah. This song is just so good. <laughs> And it's another falsetto, like we were saying, like softer voice, drawing I, you in. I'm, I'm kind of loving that. Mm -hmm. I'm loving that. <laughs> also, like, the way it's edited kind of, like, has a bit of, like, horror movie vibes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it contrasts a lot with the song. And mm -hmm. I just think that's really cool. Yeah. It's um, very, and like... yeah, because she decided to do something that's kind of retro, I like that she chose to use that almost square aspect ratio, you know? Mm -hmm. As opposed to using, like, a widescreen ratio that, you know, modern music videos have. Smart. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's a good point, too. Y'all, Charlie well, just... That's, you brought a filmmaker onto the... Onto the <laughs> I know. Uh, I love it. I love it. It is really cool having a different perspective and, like, a more expert perspective to um, just talk about things oh, that you notice. Um, well, more expert than me. You're that's for kind. darn sure. That's You're for darn so sure. Hi, Sabuna. How You're are you? Like a really kind, nice guy. <laughs> I try. I try. You try. Um, yes, I do. I do my best. Um, y'all, that was All Night by Holiday How. Please uh, go to the Instagram video. Charlie linked it right up there. Please go to the Instagram video and, um, I mean, please go to the YouTube video and like, comment, and subscribe and then go to her Instagram and follow as well. She's in Australia, so it's like six in the morning or like five in the morning for her. So she couldn't be here today i am loving <laughs> i am loving bryce bowen's comment i feel like she was gonna turn and be like a demon oh um, yeah kind of kind of that's kind of that's what i mean by like the horror movie vibes mm, like, it's yeah kind of cool dangerous especially love. since the song is not like a horror vibey song right and it does have I a few like bing, bing, like a couple of those like yeah bing, yeah kind of like clangy moments yeah you're right you're right actually yeah it actually reminded anyway, it me feels, of... It feels really neat. Was it? Reminds th you of what? I think it was in Us, the movie Us, where they kept playing like the... Okay. Anyway, it kind of sounds like that. Uh, you're like, okay, yeah, I for imagine, sure. No, that's a great, that's a fantastic movie. But I imagine that when you watch movies, you probably hear the soundtrack more. And when I mm, watch movies, that's true. I see the cinematography more. That Likely. could be. That makes a yeah. lot of sense. Love the glitch. I might not have noticed that. that. Um, have you ever seen the show Lost? I never watched it growing up. No, I, I know things about it. I'm <laughs> obsessed with the soundtrack to Lost. It might be the weirdest thing, but I will literally play the soundtrack to Lost just like while I'm doing things. That is the weirdest thing. Actually, no, it's it not. Is, I mean, cinematic stuff is cool. It makes you feel powerful it's just, and inspired. It's so dynamic. And maybe I nostalgic think his name too. Is like Michael. Gia Cacho or something. Hmm. I'm saying his name brutally wrong. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, we're doing our best yeah um okay let me see what some people said in the in the um thing yeah sorry i didn't see okay, the chat e e eoie said that's that's gonna be stuck in my head all night totally all right. night yes oe oe is how you pronounce it um OE. let's see what people said oh everyone was just saying matt kai's muted and i didn't even see it um, <laughs> everyone's like Matt Kai's muted. Video's awesome. Matt Kai, we can't hear Matt Kai. Gives me clarity. Meets Charlie XCX. I have no idea. Says. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, <laughs> y'all. It's, it's funny mean, because I was like Matt Kai's quiet. I was trying to like kind of look and see if like Matt Kai's lips were moving, and I was like maybe he's just taking it all in, or maybe he doesn't have anything good to say about this one. But I'm surprised because I feel like there's things he would like. Um, I was like, well, oh yeah. We'll I mean, this, check this song is very catchy. <laughs> And the thing is, like you mentioned that um, that Holiday is also like a music producer. And yeah. I'm not surprised because mm -hmm. it sounds very well produced. Yeah, she does it all herself um, and has been for a while. And I think she does like collabs with a lot of other people and like produces for other people. So she's quite the talent. She's quite the talent. So y'all should stand real quick. Um, okay, let's see. Who's next? Let's do... Let's do the video of me and my friend Anya, <laughs> our little cover that we did together. Because I never, uh, we're, we're going to be watching on her channel, so y'all can follow, uh, y'all already follow me on my YouTube. But I want to give a little shout out to Anya because she put this together, and I'll link it to you. I didn't put it in the, um, I didn't put it in the thingy thing thing. Okay because it wasn't a formal submission. But a couple of weeks ago- right. oh, no. This is how I got muted last time, so- I know, I I'll keep an eye out. out. So let's see. Yeah, once you open the video, say another word and we'll check. Oh, no, you're muted. Uh-oh. That is so strange. You're still muted. I fix it again? Yeah. How, how are you okay. fixing it? I, I turned off the microphone and turned it back on. That is so strange. Anyway, well, glad to know about that, if that ever pops up in the future. Um, but yeah, I uh, my friend Anya, she was... her. We showed her video for Poison on Quarantine um, back in season one. And afterwards, she was like, I do a lot of covers, and I want to know if you do like a one-minute cover with me. And obviously, you can see if you've watched it, it's almost three minutes. But um, <laughs> it took me a couple months to finally get to it. But I was really excited to do something like this. She was like, she sings too, and like, you know, makes her own music. But she was like, I'll just play guitar and you sing and we'll do it. So we did like a little live cover collab video. And she just made like a simple little edit us together. And yeah, so um, here it is. And uh, All right. it's a cover of Starlight by Muse. And there is absolutely no cinematography. So don't get too excited, Matt Kai. Um, we're gonna okay. watch it in three, two, one, go. But I love this song. This is one of my favorite Muse songs. Probably actually my fave Muse song. <laughs> oh, and my camera was like slightly off from the video, so it looks like it's not live, but it is, I promise. is taking me far away far away from the memories i love our colors together too <laughs> yeah that wasn't planned it was not planned <laughs> the complimentary yeah when you're doing like sitting singing peter you gotta figure out how to make it look interesting i don't know if it's worth it anymore Like, she's just epitome of cool girl. I love Anya. Also, if any of you need guitar work, she's available. Space. 
after I sent it back, she was like, this is great, but let's do a minute next time, too. <laughs> we can do a shorter one next time. <laughs> I was like, you can't cut this song short, Anya. Yeah. Hold that, baby. <laughs> uh, she probably would, Jay Gregory. Um, it'll be in the chat after this. I just wanted to hold you in my arms. Bye, everyone! In a cute little, like, <laughs> cute Mac cute. iMovie Simple. fade out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me link it for everyone. Um, you know what? I I like that like any song you sing becomes a Kizo song. Like it just <gasps> you just add your own vibe to it, and it just it's so unique. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm gonna grab her Instagram for everyone real quick. Um, yeah, I love that song. I just love doing the most and singing songs in different ways i wish i could sing i really wish i could sing <laughs> I, I people don't believe I'm, I'm me when i tell them the but worst. i i did not used to be able to sing <laughs> like i did not i did not i believe it i believe it <laughs> i think there's two types of people there's the people who are like born with talent and then there's the people who like work really hard to achieve things mm -hmm. so i believe it yeah you clearly are someone who's worked hard and you've improved over the years you and... can do it too yeah um, well, not me. I'm, I'm, I'm literally. Told you're that. like, I'm no. So uh, maybe that. most people can, but I can never. <laughs> no, um, like I'm gonna stick to movies. Like I don't have to be good at everything. That's true. We all do our own things. Um, Y'all, please do follow Anya and subscribe to the. The link is to her um, YouTube and everything. Oh, I just realized I never even commented on it. <laughs> I'm terrible. Slay. How dare you? Loved. <laughs> Although it's like it, it, you are kind of in it, so I understand how it could be like you know. I think I just didn't see end. her post it up because we posted on Instagram, and then I think she posted it on YouTube the next day, and I somehow missed it. Well, that's why she wanted it to be a minute, is because she wanted to post. It yeah, <laughs> She's like, instead of waiting like an hour for it to upload. I'm sorry, Anya, yeah. but yeah, everyone follow her, um, and we'll get into the rest of the regular programming and finish these videos up. Remember, we are doing a giveaway. Um, follow Matt Kai. We are doing a giveaway of um, to an annual subscription to Fearless, which is the inclusive indie film app that Matt Kai founded. And to enter, all you have to do is type exclamation Fearless, just like that, and we'll uh, announce the winner in a little bit. It's at the end of the show. We got a kind of zoom through these last few. We've been talking too much. I've been talking too much. Um, uh, but thanks everyone who enjoyed that. And again, please do follow Anya. Okay, let's just go through the list how it is here. Actually, I forgot you see something different for me. Um, let's do Matthew Presidente next. All right. I'm gonna pull it up. Oh my god, I really can't stop doing this accent. Um, <laughs> so this is a song called Till Lust Do Us Part. And Matthew said about the song, a special song written and performed with my friend, Samantha Mack, who I recognized. And I was like, how do I recognize this woman? And then I realized I had just watched like a Vice documentary or something. And she runs this like porn performer boot camp um, where she basically like tries to get guys ready to be like adult performers and i don't remember what it was called but it was a really good cute and short little like documentary so check it out um and yeah she's one of the performers in here i think more as like an actress but this is originally Sweet. from my 2017 album every single sin this live version is done during quarantine with all parts recorded from our homes super cute let me open it up and let's get to it okay y'all in three, oops, it started. In three, uh, two, oh, one, a go. Hi, DJ, how are you? From Oh my God, another Canadian from Vancouver. Oh my God. Oh, and also starring Mikey Chamsuk. Let me not forget yeah, somebody. Yeah, Canada represent. Yeah, y'all are slaying. Yes, DJ, oh, they're straight, but. What time is it? I need to get out of bed. It's time to do a song with Samantha Mack. A spark in the dark. Yeah, it was so funny though. I was like, wait, how do I recognize this woman? <laughs> I 
Maybe I saw him in the thing too. Cause he kind of looked familiar to me. Like maybe he was in there. I don't know. This piano work is crazy. Yeah, of course. That was me responding to you, Peter. <laughs> I can't figure out what this is reminding me of. Like songs. Oh, she sings too. Yeah, I'm on. I believe it. Like he's like slaying the piano right now. To let's do us part. <gasps> Bye, Michelle. Oh, I hope saying goes well. Oh, where are we getting transported to? It's I called to let to us part, DJ. I thought it was a big costume change for what happens in Yeah, me too. I need you now. I need your heart. Why are you allowing us to pull apart? How can someone see you see the state that I'm in when all I want from you is to set this name? You can't go wrong with red and black, especially on a sexy song. <laughs> a live recording, you even get to hear the, the curtains close. This is clearly a great example of how you shoot a music video during quarantine. Yeah, I love how it's like the call and response is so cute. Samantha. I'll have to look it up, Charlie. The way that she talks. Oh, Maddie. I've never, never had a problem getting what I want. So I've never wanted anything for very long. And the rules are meant to be rewritten like a beautiful song. Sing it to me, baby, till us. Do us part. Oh, oh, I want it all. I want every part. So why am I addicted to a broken heart? How can I love that line. Why am I addicted to a broken heart? Yeah. <laughs> Mormon hair is it just me? Said Jackson. Why are you waiting around here for another shot? How can you? 
I love that it kind of like approximates, you know, a, a non-quarantine video too, where it's like the video of like the the main artist versus kind of like the main performer. We'll start the fire. Are you a one-time lover or the last of my life? Cool. Cute. I mean that 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 shall we say rap section was freaking brilliant. I she was going that. for it. Samantha like, Mack was ready I, to make a I squirt. Could, I could watch videos upon videos of that. That's so good. That was so and adorable. She, that, that clearly was her like forte too, because like she became yeah. so <laughs> confident in that moment, right? Like she's clearly like I wouldn't even be surprised if maybe she wrote that bit. I don't know if she did or not. That could be. I'd be curious to know because it just seemed like she just like was. It so does say her original moment. with Matthew Presidente, so yeah, I guess it there was like a collab. There you go. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I mean, those sounded like words that she made. Like, yeah, just, that's what it felt like. It felt me. very her, very juicy. Yeah. Um, y'all, that was, was juicy. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I'm sure it was even juicy if you were there in person. Um, that was <laughs> "To Lust Do Us Part" by Matthew Presidente, Samantha Mac, and Mikey Chamzuk. Charlie uh, just put it in the <gasps> chat. So let me also right here. Huh? I loved the call and response between y'all. So cute. So spicy. Can't have a little cute. I need a, a cold spice. shower, Mama Kizo says. <laughs> Very <laughs> lusty video. Um, classic rock vibes this is a cool song. I've seen him live a number of times. He's pretty great. DJ said some great foley work. What's a foley do? I've heard that word so many times. <laughs> What's a foley? Do you work in film, I like DJ? Sound effects, basically. Oh. Oh. Like, yeah, I have heard that. I remember watching like, like I, people do it in a quiet place. Like it's possible that the curtains closing was actually recorded in the room but i'd imagine it was just added on top mm, could be typically you like you either record these things um or you pull sound from like a from a sound effect database, database thing basically that other people have made yeah, yeah. okay y'all we're gonna completely shift gears this is actually actually let me wait a little bit because i feel like they might come Le fomo if you're here let me know and we'll do your video uh next we'll actually do a different video before that one. We're gonna do Prismatical next. Um, and this was a one take kind of live performance party moment. I love this song. It's so like catchy. Um, sound people for the win. It was way too loud. Oh, that sound. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I feel like it might have been through the thing. Um, okay, let's watch it. Y'all ready for a lava by Prismedical? Oop, it always just starts on its own. Okay, ready? In three, a two, a one, go. Bist du Deutsch auch, Florian? Oh wait, I forgot to read the intro. I'll read it after. But I remember him saying they want to do one take and uh, this was like the 10th take. I mean, they wanted to do like a one-shot video and this was like the 10th take. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's cool. I know Prismatical is German. Also, sexy hair. I'm into it. Yeah. Love a cotton candy blue. Love the outfit. He has like a ton of remixes to this song too. So if you like this one, there's a lot more where that came from. Right, Florian? I hear an accent too. Yeah, he's German. I, I want to know, Florian, are you German too? I study German, so I always get excited when I find, like, German indie artists. Like, such a club banger.
For real, MCAP. Oh, South America? Okay. I mean, that's pretty hard to, like, go through the entire song without messing up one time. Right? And, like... It's... It's impressive. Even if you, like, hit all the marks, maybe you're like, I don't know, I kind of look bored there or something, and you're like, okay, let's do it again. But I'm sure this was, like, you know, mostly, if not all, choreographed. So doing this, yeah, for the whole song, making sure the cameraman, camera person knows where they're supposed to be at all times, too. Yeah. I like that they cut into like a different moment for the bridge for the quiet part there. Also, it says Rio is a whore on the wall there. If anyone wanted to know what that said. <laughs> like some there's some thumbnails online that just popped up for like other videos, videos. yeah and even I just the single art yeah ones. like <laughs> um <laughs> that was cool i i mean shooting something in one take is very challenging uh even like films that have done stuff like that they often use camera tricks and stuff to make you think that it's all one shot when it's really not um mm -hmm. you're telling me that this really was one shot then because it could have i been think they might have like, cut through have... in the in that probably where it went black they might have cut through let me see exactly what yeah. was said because i'm thinking probably they they used those blackouts and stuff in order to like disguise that they were switching between clips yeah not that it matters because i still love it either way yeah um, but i'm just curious to know like was it actually one take I um, think, well, he said we tried to make know. it as close to a one take as possible. So I don't think it was okay. exactly, but. So they probably were um, like, okay, nine is just so good in this part. Yeah. <laughs> so good in this part. Let's throw some blackouts throughout and then it'll feel like it makes sense. Right. And it does. And about it the does. video, he said the video was the 10th take. We tried to make it as one shot as possible. So I was giving my all one last time. Um, the ground was full of shattered glass and cans. I'm not surprised. And there were other people around us making photos. And I was scared because there were like people coming, like sh shady people coming and going all around. Um, but uh, performing, giving my all, I gave my all every time. I had some outlines, but mainly wanted to improvise on the dancing. Also, it wasn't fully choreographed. I wanted to make it more of a performance video so that people can see what I do, what I would do on stage. Age. that's so cute i love yeah. that and honestly for me like the first time i heard this song like it's not the type of music that i gravitate to at all like it's not what i seek out it's not what i put on repeat but then sometimes you hear a song like that and you're like okay but this is so good and then you put it on repeat like 30 times like that song is just amazing the I love thing it. is this is like you know i i love a good artist that you're like this is the artist. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And I, I think that's why an artist that you know exactly who they are. Exactly. And I love that. Yeah, I think that's very much it. Like sometimes you can feel like people are going for a specific sound or whatever, so then I can't yeah. like connect to it. But if it's really who the artist I is, connect to it. that's this when is I'm my like, vibe for sure. This go. is my kind of music. I love it. Let's go. But yeah, I I love Prismatical. Um, and Charlie linked everything right there, the YouTube video and Instagram. So please do follow him. Um, people said love the location, uh, club banger. I love this. Said Rooks. Um, he really holds the camera as in like draws you in. Yes. I was like, literally, he's not yeah. holding the camera. I'm on. He's not holding it. Uh, <laughs> Jackson said, so good. I want to dance, said Peter. That was a great track. Yeah. No, that was really cute. That was really, really cute. And like I said, there's a ton of um, remixes to that track, like in totally different imagination. So if you really liked it, 
Um, it's cool. Look him Remixes up. by other people or by other people. By um, oh, I don't. I feel like maybe he actually did one of his own too. I, I think it's remixes. cool if people do their own remixes. Like, listen, if you can change your own song, then that means mm-hmm. you're a true artist. I, I think. don't think he did, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Yeah. I think he's done some for other people. Um, but yeah, there's four remixes. So if you like the original, there's plenty cool. for you to 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 eat after. Cool. Okay, we got a couple this more is, videos left, y'all. This is maybe the artist too that I that I recognized right away um, because I had seen uh, on Instagram already. So oh, um, just the style be. and look is like, yeah, yeah, excellent. it's very recognizable. <laughs> that yeah. too. Um, okay, y'all. Next up, we got T Y B pronouns he him. I just realized I haven't been saying people's pronouns. I mean, I kind of say them in the video, but I want to say it for everyone so you're not like wondering. Um, TYB. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It. Actually, I, I try to avoid using pronouns and use people na- people's names whenever possible so that I don't misgender people. Right. So I'm like, let me just, you know, not have everyone wondering <laughs> and just tell you what everyone told me when they submitted their videos because I ask for it with every submission so that we don't have to guess. Um, and I also love the song. It's up, up, up. Love the singer's flowy dancing moves. Yeah, it was really good dancing too. It was cute. It was improvised and mm-hmm. it felt good. Hi, Tyler. Yeah. You are not new here, but hello. Welcome in. I love you. Okay, we're going to watch Cherry on Top by TYB. Oh, let me read what it's about. Um, T said, growing up queer in a state like Wisconsin, it was difficult to gain acceptance by my peers. But once I accepted myself, I was able to embrace the things I love most about my home state. Cherry on Top embodies my appreciation for Wisconsin, Wisconsin culture through a fun summer pop rap hit, relatable to all despite our background, gender identity, or sexual orientation. This is a cute one. I, uh, like I said, I All usually right. just watch barely any clips, but um, it's very like summer with your friends, party time, nostalgic time. Mm-hmm. Ready in three, two, one, go. It's Cherry on Top by TYB. Let's start with a little cherry. Oh, it's so cute. Now I'm thirsty and hungry. I know. And I gotta pee. <laughs> I'm, Me too. I'm holding my pee. <laughs> We could pee after this if you want. <laughs> T's gonna be like, all they were doing was talking about pee during my video. I'm sorry, T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'ma need a minute, bit a hell of a day. Chasing all this money in an elegant way. Sometimes I just wanna throw it all. It's hard to play fair when you're trying to play. Okay, ball. come on, sing too. Everything that I asked for, I need a new crib and whip and a passport. Wanna blast off on sponsored by NASA. About to take and land on the Death Star. Tell me, would you love me if I never had a mansion? Living in yes, the Florian. All the way in Wisconsin, T Pain with it. Can we do it? Yes, I'm asking. Oh my gosh. I know, this is I'm the excited. drone moment or whatever is happening here. It's funny because when I listened to, like, I mean, when I watched the snippets, I think I only saw the rap parts, so I didn't know that he was, like, an amazing singer, too. I'm shook. I love the Green Bay Packers moment. Hey. But yeah, like I said, it's just very much like fun summer vibes with your friends, having a good time. Like, it's so cute. But also like quite sexy and sexy. Like, like he has a lot of confidence. Yeah. Like so cute. Love that. Could be M. Kev. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that might have been on purpose, right? See, this is the kind of thing where if it were a mainstream video, they'd be showing absolute bottles and minute made and everything else, right? Yeah, that's true. All kinds of brand products product placement. Oh. Uh. 
cops call. Checking in your bag for the cash, got the hot sauce. Take the last dance, we can hit it like the pop rocks. Landed in my mind where you garden, I'm just trying to get my shot. Even if we don't last like it's so fast. Hit it like the, hit the Bob Ross, what did he say? J. Gregory. LGBTQIA, JT. And then make it better, too. <laughs> This is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Yeah. Cherry on top. Cute. Oh my God. What a moment. You know what else I like about this one is that oftentimes um, artists use the name of the song in a in a very obvious way, such as mm. like the main line of the chorus or something. And this one, Cherry on Top, was just a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't so in your face. And I love that. Like, I loved everything about it. The cinematography. Perfection. The shots. The cute, yeah. like, summer. This, like, this is the kind of music video where, like, you, you go to the credits and say, like, who is the cinematographer? Like, that's, right. this is one of those ones where I would be digging into the credits to find out everyone who was part of this. And Shot and edited by Randy Lawrence. Push to start productions. Um, Charlie just linked the YouTube video and Instagram there. <laughs> Always said I'm looking, but I got to come back to say this is hot. <laughs> um... Let's see what other people said. Amazing coloring. Oh, yes, aesthetics. Damn, this video was sharp. Love these lyrics. Fun in the past tense. Yeah, that was cute, Rooks. I noticed that one, too. Um, MCAV liked that sepia, question mark, filter. Um, Peter said such a jam. The Sunny D. Um, Jay Gregory said an LGBTQIA -G -J -T, a.k.a. Justin Timberlake, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, Mimosas also or if sound if you're good. in Canada, Justin Trudeau. Oh, that's, I guess. Uh, yeah. Because everyone thinks our, our, our prime minister is hot. That's, that's true. That's true. I remember everyone saying that. And I mean, I guess people still do say it. He's cute. He's cute. Okay, we got two more vids, y'all. We're going to scoot on through. Um, remember to do exclamation fearless in the chat to enter the giveaway um, for an annual subscription to Fearless, which is the indie film um, app that matt kai founded you can also follow matt kai and fearless on instagram um yeah exclamation fearless in the chat if you want the annual subscription to support some indie film on top yeah, of yeah and if, and if you don't win there's also a two-week free trial so you can still try it. that too that too you can get a taste no matter what a taste it's just five <laughs> bucks a month it's not it's not it's um it's one of the cheapest ones and you're supporting indie creators instead of exactly. a monopoly giant and if you and if you want to and if you want to watch like an indie music Piece. Um, there's a documentary on there called Now Sound, which is mm. about indie artists from Australia. Cute. So. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Exciting. Okay, y'all, we got two videos left. Squirt like water gun or pew pew? Uh, I mean, squirt like squirting, whatever squirt means to you, Panzer, that's what it means to me. Honestly, I say squirt like in slay. I just use it as a word for slay. Like, oh, squirt. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Um, but it's usually a squirt of a sexual variety panther, if you must know. Okay, we're gonna watch the video for Le FOMO next. This is an animated video, and it's really, really, really cool. So, I'm really excited for y'all to see this one. Um, let me read real quick. They said, uh, Tiny Anchor is Le FOMO's second single, um, out of their, e uh, I don't know if it's an album or EP, but they have a project coming out on September 25th called Swallow Me Whole. Um, and it's pop, it's punk, it's new wave, and you won't want to miss it. Tiny Anger is a song about navigating intimacy. It can be hard to see that someone loves or likes you when your traumatic fear-based thinking patterns get in the way. An interaction can easily, feel like, and can easily feel like rejection when we're on high alert. It'll send us off spinning. I like to throw a tiny anchor to slow things down, to take some emotional space to understand what's happening without taking the whole ship and course correcting if needed. I love that metaphor. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, y'all. I'm really excited for y'all to... Um, here from Le Fomo pronouns they, them, and she, her. It's a band. Um, so different pronouns for each person. And it's probably pronounced Le Fomo. Le, it's le, is, le Fomo. Is le for the. Fomo. Le Fomo. Y'all exactly. ready? In three, in two, and one, and go. More Rose vibes. I don't know who that is, Oe. Hi, Simmer. How are you? I love the claps. 
Yeah, it's a cute little intro. Also, the pansexual colors going in there. I don't know if that was coincidence or what, but I'm noticing. Bye, Sky. I'm noticing it. I don't watch it, OE. Okay. I wasn't expecting that little, like, synth, uh... <laughs> I love that he's like dancing or whatever. <laughs> the little character. I love that there's some form of rainbow in every shot. Almost. Yeah. I also love like the futuristic but also like retro-y like retro wave graphics and like the 90s pattern there. Forgot. It was a production company or some sort of company. I don't remember the okay. name. But if y'all go follow them on social media, they tag them in their post. Yeah, I love like the mixture of like the the drawings and then like these like real world objects too. I don't know that, Florian. Oh my god, that's cool. That's a good point. It's very trippy. Ooh, get the keys. Oh, never mind, it's a necklace. <laughs> I thought they were giving each other the keys to like, let's blow this popsicle stand. I think it's a tiny anchor. Oh, maybe. It looked it looked different. It looked like um looked like Navi from Legend of Zelda, like a little fairy. I think the necklace was meant to be a tiny anchor. Let me look and see. I'm going back. I mean I guess yeah, tiny, even if it's not a tiny anchor. It could be like a tiny anchor of sorts. Definitely looks like a little fairy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I looked into the uh, description there, and it's by Crystal Swamp Studios. Crystal, yeah, I knew the word Crystal was in there. Yes, Crystal so, Swamp Studios. Headed by Danny Alloy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Come through, Danny. I I mean I haven't seen very many animated uh, music videos. I mean I know that. Um, who is and it's it animated that in like a different way those? from I feel like I usually see it too. Yeah, I, I've never seen this style, really. It's it's kind of a. Um, a marionette feel to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. It, it. it almost feels like it could have been made out of um, like construction paper and stuff. Like it has that sort of yeah. um, element to it. I like yeah. it. Cool. It's really cute. And I just saw in the description, they said, Tiny Anchor is brought to you by an all non-binary and woman crew of musicians and sound engineers and visual artists. So that's extra exciting. Love, 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 Bring love, it. love that. I love it. Um, and I mean... That that moment, especially at the beginning, which I can't call anything other than a bi sky. Yeah, <laughs> the bi sky. I love it. The bisexual sky. It's it's we stand. freaking stunning. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it was gorge. It was gorge. Let me see what some people said. Pans for the wind. This is cute. I love this. This is great on so many levels. I very much enjoy this style, said Mialison. This is so my kind of shit. I agree. I love that. Oh, they're from yeah. Oakland. Yes, MCAV. Love. Oh, I did know that because they were doing like fundraising for um, Rio, which is a club in SF. 
um but yeah cute plus a happy Sweet. ending that was awesome exciting very cute y'all we're on our last video of the day um, this is a song by Wu M I. It's called Supernova. I think this is a little bit of kind of like a deluxe edition remix version. Um, deluxe. So yeah. It's it's Do extra. I need a VIP ticket to watch this? You or? already have it, baby. You already okay. have it. Um oh it's a remix. Um but I think it's the same song, just with a featured artist this time. So it might switch up a little bit. But yeah, I this was the first song that I ever heard by Wu Am I a while back. Um, and I was really excited to see that there is a video for it recently. Like literally just last month it came out. And I was like, oh my god, please send this for quarantine. And they said, okay. So um, this is Wu Am I pronounced he, they. And let me read a little bit more. Um, Wu said, I wrote this electro pop song about a summer fling during a weekend in the California desert. I met July, pronounced she, her, a fellow queer pop musician two years ago, and we've been writing songs together ever since. I'm excited to have her amazing voice on the remix, our first, a lot, our first official collaboration. The concept of Supernova, a dying star that remains beautiful and brilliant in its demise, is about cherishing those nostalgic moments in a relationship that's fated to end. Ah! Oh, so sad. And uh, in that spirit, July, C. Lee, and I spent 24 hours shooting the video in Joshua Tree back in February, right before the world shut down. Everything about the song and video was independently produced, written, recorded, and edited. Love it! The final scene of the video is one take shot that represents the feeling of chasing after an idea or memory of someone only for the illusion to escape and fade away. We didn't have a camera dolly, so we improvised. July drove her roommate's car while C held her yes. camera out the window. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. We found a I lot. I love this shit. Yeah. I love this shit. I was this like, ooh, so we're getting into the life. exciting stuff yeah. just for you. Yeah. Um, we found a long empty street near our Airbnb for the scene because of instability and other cars on the road We reshot it about three times to get the perfect long take. I can't wait to see what this looks like I sprinted each time so I was a tired and a hot mess by the end of it I've also posted a behind-the-scenes video on my youtube channel if you'd like to see the process So afterwards y'all when yes, you subscribe to Woo, you can <laughs> yes, see I that I know me too We probably won't watch it on I'm here because they don't want to no, take up too much time, but I will be checking it out. Okay, y'all. This is Supernova featuring July, the remix. This is our last video of the episode. Remember, there is no video next. I mean, no quarantine next week. But do submit your videos with the password fearless. Also, uh, enter into the giveaway just by typing exclamation fearless for an annual subscription to fearless. Okay. Y'all ready for the last video in three, uh, two, one, go. Your this is sky. Supernova. By Wu Am I, featuring Filled July. With broken constellations. You shattered me, scattered my dust. Come on, poetry. So I became the stars. That's stunning. Yeah, this song is so good, though. When I first heard it, I was like, oh my god, how have I never heard of you before? Like, gorgeous vocals, and then the production explodes too. Constellation light, a spark in me. Constellation light, the dark for me. I'm driving in the blind, I'm gaining speed. Escaping all. Yes, Charlie. These are lonely nights, giving love for free. Taking drugs as a remedy for a broken heart. Weighing down on me. I love songs that mix like electronic with like acoustic natural elements. And he's done that visually with the visuals as well. That's true. That's a good point. Oh, that's cool. Like that bass? And yeah, Wu, I think, does most, if not all, of his production. I love both of them, but like, I'm 
I totally get you. They said they'll be collaborating more in the future, so sounds amazing. That we've had, I think, a like, uh, basically queer people in quote unquote a heterosexual relationship. Gotta have a little representation for that too, you know? No bi erasure here. Yeah, exactly. And trust me, there's a lot of bi erasure. This is hot! My god! <laughs> Everything about this video is so hot! I love that too. But the thing is, this song is about when the relationship's doomed to end and you're just like in the last moments of beauty before it goes. No! Oh my god. Oh, here's the long shot. I didn't know yes. that this would be the last time that I could hold you. If I did, I would have held you just a little longer to make this little piece of infinity wow. last forever. visceral that is a visceral ending oh my god it reminds me of something i shot at one point actually well i wasn't shooting i was the actual actor in it but um i did a scene very similar to this a very similar shot in fact for my series it's complicated and yeah this is stunning that that's so well done that was so beautiful here's the thing like i said before i have not seen these videos before i loved this song when i first heard it maybe like a year ago i think the mm -hmm. original version came out and oh my god is that the example of elevating a song with a video mm -hmm. like that yeah. if i wanted to i could have cried but I don't cry anymore because society uh, yeah. damaged me at a young age. But, <laughs> but and, oh, and I'm the opposite. I cry too much. Oh my! Do you want to borrow some of my tears? Yeah, I could probably use a few. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my god! Wow. I yeah. like I knew I was gonna love it, but that f totally blew me away. Oh, I am. That yeah, final just frame, like they would have had to shoot at the exact right time of the day and everything. That's like, true too. That, like you're running I mean, out of time. Like you have, you can't shoot it too early and you can't shoot it too late to get a shot like that. You That's have to true. Get the perfect timing, and then it's. I mean, the sky is literally pink. It's. It's. And then the the contrasting the pink with the blue on the ground, which also symbolizes like the 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 like gender identities that are like oh. flowing through this. I don't know. To me, it does. Oops, um, click the wrong thing. I don't know, it's stunning. It's, that could that that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Y'all, please do follow, comment, like, subscribe on um, the video. Charlie just linked it in the chat, YouTube, and Instagram right there. Need a tissue and a drink, my dad said. Uh, other people said such an amazing I, shot. I adore that your that your dad and your mom participated. That's <laughs> yeah. just so great. Heartbreaking ending, said my mom. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, it's so funny because I was like, wow, this is such a beautiful love story. And then I remembered right before it kind of turned to them breaking up, I was like, wait wait, no, but this is about love ending. No! And then right then, it started to get a little gray. They started to pull apart. 
Yeah, gorgeous. but I don't know that it is about love ending. I think well, it's about the relationship ending yes. with the love going on forever. Yeah, that's no, that's point. true. That's a really good point. That, but that makes it even worse. Um, in a good way, you know, like then you feel it even more because oh, it's just too Maybe real. Maybe I've been in a relationship too long. I see it from a different. Point no, of I no, I completely agree with that, and I completely relate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, amazing, y'all! Let's do this drawing for the. Um, I'll give y'all one more chance to join in the giveaway for the Fearless subscription. Just type exclamation Fearless in the chat. As long as you're in the U.S., U.K. Ireland, not Scotland. I mean, Scotland too, yes. Uh, let me start over because I'm confusing myself. US, UK, Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, or South Africa. Boom! You are eligible. So if, in, if you're in any of those states, you exclamation fearless in the chat, and we're going to do a drawing for the annual subscription for Fearless, please do also follow my co host, Matt Kai, here on Instagram, as well as Fearless, which is the indie film app. Um, yes, Ireland made it, um, which is Northern Ireland and real Ireland. I'm just kidding. I'm That's not, true. I'm not That's Ireland true. racist. And Ireland only joined recently because that was only in April oh. that we added Ireland. Oh, very soon. There you go, Oe. Well, yeah. Oe, did you enter? Exclamation fearless. Oh, wait, sorry. Let me let me type it in the chat again so y'all see. The exclamation has to come first. Oh my god, I spelled it wrong. Okay. The exclamation do what I say, first, not what I do. <laughs> do what Apparently. I say, not what I do. Yeah, exclamation fearless like that. Um, and then I am Brooks. You have to redo it, otherwise. You yes, you'll have to redo it. You'll have to redo it, and then I'm gonna pick a Yay. random person. Um, and let me actually remove myself because I entered myself that time. You entered yourself like a million times. Yeah, but it only counts like it doesn't do repeats, so oh, okay. don't worry. But I was like, I gotta remember to take myself out. Um, okay. Yeah, really. Can you imagine? You just do giveaways in all the episodes, and you always give. Yeah, that's <laughs> always good. That's rigged. No, it's not. Okay. Um, let's do it. I'm gonna give you all ten more seconds, and I'm also just gonna say. Although legit, low, like, like, give Kizo some love because this show's amazing. <gasps> Thank you, Matt. I know you guys for... all love him already, but like, this is so cool that he's literally helping out other like artists and stuff, and bringing on you know a whole bunch of hosts and stuff. Like, this is amazing. Like. Thank you. Give him the props. Like, go, go, freaking listen to his songs on Spotify and repeat or something. I don't know. Yes, and you can also support <laughs> me on Patreon if you have a little extra. Do the Patreon. Even, even a dollar a go. month. That's huge. Yeah. Um. $1 thank $1 you, Matt month. Kai, for shouting me out. I was just about to shout well, you out even I more. I think the thing is, you shout out your your co-hosts a lot, but how yeah. do your co-hosts shout out you, right? So you you deserve like so much more love than I do. I'm only doing this one day. You do this all the time, so well, you're pretty awesome. Thank you, Matt Kai. But I really appreciate you taking yeah. the time, um, and also you know working with us to get a free subscription to give away because I think that's really yeah, cool. And I wanted to just promote fearless in you and all your work and because you do so much and i see you also you know doing articles about indie artists and music videos and all this great stuff so yep. i'm really excited that we got to connect y'all we're gonna draw this giveaway right here yeah. right now are cool. you ready yeah and like i said whoever doesn't win you can still get a free trial for two weeks so everyone should check it out yes that's true support because, I mean, if you love supporting, you know, indie music artists, then you should also love supporting indie filmmakers. That's exactly. Completely. Indie artists across everything. Um, yeah. I'm going to... Ooh, let me put minimum zero. I am paranoid because I'm actually doing a giveaway in, a, like, a workaround way. And I'm paranoid that instead of telling me who won, it's just going to delete their name and I'm not going to know who won. So I'm going to use oh, no. the random number generator and I'm just going to click it five times. Okay. Okay. That so I'm going to show fair. you all the fifth time. I'm gonna show you all the fifth time, and then I'll tell you who almost won but didn't because I clicked it five times. I'm um, just kidding. It's a random number generator. It could technically do the same number every single time. Okay, y'all ready? I, I, I guess I'll do this live. I'll show you. Whatever number you see on the screen is not the number that won. I'm gonna hit it one more time. Oh, number seven. Number seven is Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. So Jackson's the winner? Is that what Jackson's you're the winner, yes, and he lives in oh, Texas. Sweet. So we don't have to stress. There you go. Um, I can uh, connect you or whatever we need to do for that. Matt Kai, we can talk and then send it over yeah, to I, Jackson. I mean, I, I literally just need his email address and then we can make him the account. And Amazing. Can the app and log in. It's that easy. Perfect. Okay. Well, I can I can handle that for you, Jackson. So Sweet. that way you don't have to do whatever. So just you send it. Actually, maybe I already have it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but I'll take care of that later today. But Jackson and everyone, thank you so much for... Um, 
Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank you so much for participating in the giveaways. Thank you all so much for supporting me and supporting Matt Kai. Um, thank you all for supporting all of these beautiful videos today. Matt Kai, thank you for all of your time. I really appreciate it. I'm glad we got to connect and meet and say hi. Um, yeah, because I really appreciate all of your yeah. support as well. So thank you for being here. Yeah. Is there anything course, else you want to shout here. out or talk about before you head off? Well, just in case anyone's on Fearless and wants to check out the things I made, uh, just go to the channel tab and then you'll see a channel called Makai and then you can watch all of the shit that I made. True. If anyone's interested in that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm definitely going to be doing the, um, the free trial at the very least because I'm really curious to not only see what you've done, but just see what's on there. I'm really yeah. excited. Um, yeah. Well, Makai, thank you so much for all of your time. We're actually going to head over to Corey's channel now for the after show. So please come stick around. Peter is our guest this week, and he just released a new EP. So I'm excited for y'all to get to know Peter a little bit more. Um, yeah, but Makai, thank you so much for a beautiful time today. Amazing. It's my pleasure to be part of it. Thank you. Bye. 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 Y'all. Okay, we're about to go to Corey's. I have to pee so bad. Let me put on some music.